Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and in this video I'm going to show you all the persistent shortcuts that are within Chongqing. So that's three shortcuts that we have so far in the map. Um, so I'm going to show you all of them. And plus I'm going to be doing quite a hatch challenge as well, combined. So that's overall four challenges and I'm going to show you all the locations of all the uh, shortcuts and stuff. So it took me a while to actually figure those stuff out as well. I couldn't find them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we figured it out eventually. But we're going to start the Riverside Walkway, bring along the pistol, coin, lockpick. And yeah, that's it. If you missed any videos I've covered so far, there's a link in the description of the full playlist of Chongqing challenges. And a big thank you to Square Enix and IO Interactive for giving me free early access to the game. I appreciate it. So from the start, we are going to go full aggro. We're not going to uh, mess around in this one. We just want to get this done and do this as quick as we can. Because they are persistent shortcuts, so you don't have to do them over one playthrough. Once you've unlocked them once, uh, they'll be unlocked forever. So we're just going to take out all these guys as quick as we can. And uh, take his disguise as well. Because uh, best to keep making sure that we're inconspicuous. Here's the first shortcut, which is going to be uh, a good shortcut to the start. This will get you to the facility a lot faster. Hey, someone. So we're just going to take her out as well. Just don't, don't lay down for anyone. Just don't take any crap from anybody. Just shoot them in the face. Get them out of there. The next one is going to be in the block building. So we're just going to grab that crowbar. So this, it's the next one is going to be a ladder. So that's why we need the crowbar for that. So we're just going to climb up here. Climb through the window. And at this point, uh, we need to wait for this interview to finish. And this guy with the baseball cap to move out of the way uh, for us to get through the window on the opposite side of the room. Because he is an enforcer. We could just go in there all guns blazing, but um, for some reason I just didn't want to do that at this point in time. I just didn't want... Because there's a lot of hostiles in this building overall. And I don't want to go full aggro around this kind of area. It's fine on the streets because they're out of the way. But when it comes to people in this building, it's going to be a little bit tricky as well. But uh, we're not going to be hanging around for too, too much longer anyway, so... We just want this to hurry up, get this guy to move out of the way so we can move on. I'll wrap up down here. Thanks, Julie. I was just informed that we don't need any more new subjects tonight. Oh no, there will be more to come. Depending on the results of the conclusion to this test phase, come back for us and we'll schedule a new one. So there he goes. Alright, so we can now get out of from cover and jump out the window. Take a left and go around the other side and there's going to be a, the ladder there. Crack that, that's the second shortcut, so there's one more left. I'm going to use the hatch and use the code 2552 and that will get you the, uh, the quite a hatch challenge completed gain us access to the lab. Nice quick little shortcut there. Grab the screwdriver that's on the floor. I'm gonna use the screwdriver in this vent right here. If you had the right dongle you could hack that panel for I'm gonna get out of sounds a disguise as well, so there's gonna be a guard over here. If he's not over here for you, just wait for him to come to this location and then turn off this fuse. Hide in the closet. Wait for him to have his back to you fully. And turn it on. And then we're going to knock him out. Must there we go. Subdue him. Go drag him. Put him in the crate. Or locker, I should say. Or closet. Grab his disguise so we don't get any aggravation. And we can move on to the final shortcut. So we need to do is get to the security room because that's where the final shortcut is actually is. It took me a while to figure this one out because I've never been in that section. There's never, a, I never had a need to either. So that's probably why I couldn't find it because whenever you pass through there, you never go in that room. There's just no, it's not, it's not necessary. So you need to go on to tier two. So it's going to be up there. Can we jump up it? No, we can't. We have to take the lat take these stairs, unfortunately. What a jump if he could, though. Oh, that'd be crazy. Hey, 
Right. Pass through here on the left, open this. We don't need to go through this way. We could have just, we could have just talked the door, but you know, it's not cool enough. This is more cooler. When we're here in this room, there's no hostiles, so don't worry. So pass this room on the left here. Open the elevator. And what we need to do is climb out. Drop down. Come up the pipe. And shimmy all the way along. Get through the opening. And then we need to use the screwdriver on the vent itself. You can use your camera on this as well, but it's completely up to you. So once you open this, and then open up the door, that's your final shortcut. And that's all the persistent shortcuts within Chongqing. So these doors will always be unlocked from now on. And it's a nice little shortcut down to the lab as well, if you wanted to take it here. So yeah, there we go. That's that's it. That's all the locations. And that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below. Or clicking the link in the description. And a big shout out to all my Psycho Assassin members. Paul Lilly, Big D, Bedry and Bryant. I really do appreciate it. If you've missed any videos I've covered so far for Chongqing, there's a link in the description of the full playlist. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.